your forefathers and your forefathers and your four four forefathers, and you will find out there's a point where there's no mention of a more. That's right. But if you keep going back, you'll find out that they're Israelites, man. You'll find that uh, a, a link, okay? Which um, the the was that the Peninsula, uh, the Iberian Peninsula, and Peninsula, I'm um, Peninsula, Iberia goes into the word uh, uh, Hebrew, which you have the Irish, and that there's a placket down there by the uh, not is that the Brooklyn Bridge. No, I think that's a Manhattan Bridge, and uh, in Chinatown, and there's an order called the, the the Order of the Hibernians, which 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 are the uh, Irish. Now, when you look up the word Hibernians, is another way of saying Hebrew. Same thing with Ebo. Ebo is their way of saying Hebrew. All right. I got the precept. Yeah, this is a quick precept showing you oh, that. Oh, and there's a video out. Remember you were talking about could come talking to that hand mic? Yeah. Somebody actually got the video, the the, the the copy and made it, put a video out, and you can hear could come going back and forth. <laughs> oh, yeah? And the hand mic say, "Yeah, we know that you're Israelites, and we sold you to the white man. See, and the yeah. ones that we didn't sell, we chopped your heads off and we ate you, man. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a, a scripture that I proves these guys want to say you Israelites like to eat your babies. Yeah, nigga." <laughs> them mites, man, that's all they do is eat them, eat themselves, man. To this As day. we speak right now, to this day, to this day, man. That's there's right. some, there's a, about a thousand hamites munching on a damn another hamite, man. Yep, right. legging, right. snacking on a leg bone, Snack, right. snacking on a leg bone to the white, the white <laughs> meat. Uh, this is a scripture that proves that Esau could not, even though they came into power. And by the way, the Edomites came into power in England. Uh, well, the Rothschilds had the banking industry pretty much sewn up around the 1800s. You had N&M Rothschild and Sons. But pretty much Jake held the throne. We're talking about the throne now till the 1901. All right? The last Israelite to sit on the throne was a, was a Queen Victoria. All right? Which her line went back to uh, King James. All right? So now the reason why they couldn't destroy the Bible is prophecy. This is the book of Isaiah 34 and 16 and 17 it says seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read the book of the Lord is the Bible and no one of these shall fail meaning the prophecies none shall want her mate meaning you can't mate this book with any other book for my mouth meaning the most high's mouth it have commanded and his spirit it have gathered them gathered the prophecies gathered the prophets which spoke the prophecies all right and he have cast a lot for them meaning each prophet each uh, uh, individual in the book received their amount of prophecies, received their amount of revelations that they were going to reveal. And he have cast a lot for them, and his hand have divided it unto them by line. They shall possess it forever. You, did you hear that part? They shall possess it forever. Meaning we'll always have the words of this book forever. From generation... To generation shall they dwell therein. So that, uh, according to that scripture, there's no way the so-called white man could destroy this Bible. All right? And believe you me, the elites of the so-called white man, they tried valiantly to try to destroy the Bible. But to no avail. Why? Because the prophecy I just read to you is one of the reasons why. They could not destroy this Bible. Or they cannot destroy this Bible. The, the best they can do is try to demonize the Bible. Or try to write other Bibles. That's why you see them. The proof that they tried to destroy the Bible. The King James Version. Is there's other versions. Now when you go in those other versions. They got it totally distorted man. From the original version. So what does that tell you? That tells you the elites of the so called white man. Found out what this book is about. And now they're trying to turn it around. Now they're trying to pervert it. But that's not going to stop the prophecies. Anybody else? we doing uh, I'm gonna go back to Obadiah 1 and 6 how are the things of Esau searched out w w the, the most high by the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord by the Bible by, by the scriptures by the not by the words what's the Bible the words of the most high yep. okay and us we're into the Bible we're into prophecy so that's how the things of Esau are being searched out how are and the most high is putting the spirit on us because we're doing this through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai. He's putting the spirit, the spirit on us to reveal these prophecies. I'll give you an example. The chip. All right? The words didn't just leap out the book and told us this is the chip. 
when we read in Revelation 13 and 16, no, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai came on us, and we put it together and say, oh, that's the chip, because logically it makes sense. Plus the word there in the, in the Greek is karagma, which means a thing inserted. What is that? That ain't no philosophy. That's the chip. Yeah, well, these guys don't know because they don't know Greek yep. or Hebrew. They don't know. Yep. And you know what I was thinking about? Did you ever see a video by, made by anybody where anybody went to the blue letter outside of us? Oh, the only one is a Hong Kong Fui. Yeah. Well, he well why 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 did why did you think he went to the blue letter? Because he got it from us. You know, hey, this, the, the the Most High made these devils put that blue letter together for us. That's our blue letter. You know what I'm saying? That's our blue letter. We using it. You know. Yeah. Nobody you. And then we even we we even show you where they go off on the blue letter. Yeah. You know. That's right. That's right. Anyway, it says this. Now you got this uh. This fake snow um, all over the place that won't melt. Okay, we did the experiments on that. Mm-hmm. You got the chemtrails all over the place. Another thing that we talk on the the the, the mark of the beast, which is the chip, the microchip, the, GMO. the G the GMOs in the foods. Okay, everything is set up to destroy us. Now, this is what the scriptures say. It says, uh, it says, uh, I'm gonna go right to the point. Okay, yeah, 22nd verse, Matthew 24. And except those days should be short. Now, I was talking about when uh, Titus besieged uh, Jerusalem, he, he wanted to kill all of them, right? But now we can apply that to, to, to the day. The things that are written the four times for our learning, all right? That we, through comfort of the scriptures, might, might have hope. Um, 22nd verse. And except those days should be shortened. Now... Um, this this these elite man, they got the chemtrails going every day. Yeah. All right. They got the GM, GM everything's GMOs. You know, a lot of those uh when you buy these foods and you see the non GMO sticker or the uh what's the green and white sticker? What does it say on the green and USDA USDA um organic. A lot of them are GMOs, man. Yeah. You know? So you eating GMOs whether you like it or not. Okay, and you really can't build your own farms because you got the chemtrails. You can't stop the chemtrails. Okay. Plus, add to what you just said, Elder, the, 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 you got farmers down in the Midwest. There's an article on it. They're killing themselves because the big GMO companies. Uh, one, uh, one in particular is Betchel. And then there's another one. Um, Monsanto is another Monsanto one. Monsanto is the they'll, king. What they'll That's do the, is they'll come around with yeah. a truck and they'll, and they'll deliberately have some seeds fall on your land, and when those GMO Monsanto seeds grow, then they sue you, and then you say, "Well, wait a minute, that's not my fault." Yep. But they got they they got the uh, the judges in their pockets. Yep. And then see, people are slowly waking up to this bullshit, man. Yeah. A lot of people are watching these videos, man. Yep. You got people that are advocates of certain things in the newer order because they saw it on a video maybe three years ago, yep. and they they got all into it, and now they're one of the top uh, experts on the uh, GMOs and stuff. Yeah, because you don't have. And then another thing, man, you people figure that you go to a goddamn college or a university, and you're gonna learn something, oh. man. You don't. You you'll miss your you what is the term? Miseduc misinformed, miseducated, misdirected, misdirected. Yep. You want to find this truth, uh, truth about these different things? You better network, man. You yeah. better go on that web. That's why they want to do away with the web, man. Because yep. what they found out is a lot of people out there bringing out a lot of information, man. You know? Yeah. That's where you have a lot.